My name is Rochelle Walker and I'm from Blackhall. <clears throat> In the past year I've started doing prophetic art. Prophetic art is simply art of any kind from a line drawing to a painting um, and it's art through which God can speak to the viewer in some way. Um, this is a picture of two eagles. The eagle here is flying around free, that's how it was designed, it was created to be free to fly around. Um, the other eagle is sitting on the edge and it's looking out wishing it could be free. It doesn't realise. Um, all it has to do is get out of the nest, step out, trust God and let go and it will have the freedom that this eagle has. And it can speak to our lives in the same way. We are designed to step out, trust God and just fly with Him and be free. In this picture, it's, it seemed God was saying, I have a place of rest. And the path invites us to go up into that place of light and just to sit on that garden seat and rest in the light of God's light. Um, that's how the painting speaks to me. It could speak to someone else in a different way. I remember um, through the drought, we've just been through about a four year drought, I was sitting out in the four wheel drive in the middle of the paddock waiting for my husband to finish his job. And it was horrible, it was grey, the brown soil and just no colour and I'm a very visual colour sort of a person. And I remember just wondering, I didn't even ask God, I just wondered, God where are you in all of this? And he said, in you, which is true, he's in our hearts. And, and so this picture came about like envisioning God in our hearts, but also he is the heart of love and Jesus came. Um, just for love. He is love. And so this is just like a representation of perhaps Jesus walking down the pathway of our heart. Um, I don't know. You can interpret it however you, you, know, however you like. Um, I was painting this to music. Sometimes I paint music and it simply reminds me of colours and shapes. So I started painting this to a song. And the song was actually about the sea and about um, I think it was about sort of flowing into the sea of God's love and um, I really had no plan for this painting it just sort of evolved after I did the sea and the stream coming into it I thought I need to put a shell in it it wasn't a perfect shell shells come from the sea but this one is quite flawed as you can see um, and then I thought there's something about the depths of the sea just like the depths of God and so that's what these lines sort of represent the depths of God um, but yeah the shell has come from the sea you know God has provided things for us out of the depths of who he is um, this will say different things to different people but that's my interpretation of it